I'm back up in the mountains of Armenia doing my contemplations. We've spoken about the difference between nice and being kind, setting boundaries and setting boundaries mm -hmm. with kindness, and how to cultivate positive relationships and feel good in these relationships and not feel like the person is taking advantage of us. So I have a new piece that I have been contemplating since the last time I spoke to you. And this is about setting terms to an agreement. And we can do this for anything. For example, you want to rent a house. You sign a contract. Those are terms. Those are the agreements. What are expected of me to pay the house? What's expected of the owner of the house for me? So, for example, we go back to my dear hoarder friend who told me her terms were, my house is messy and I have a dog. And I agreed to those terms. And when I got there, the house was more than just messy. And I wanted to leave, but she asked me if I would stay. And she asked me if I would stay because that would help her to clean up. So I agreed to that term, but then she didn't agree, then she didn't clean up. So she wasn't agreeing to her part of the terms. Also, in no place did I agree to take care of the dog. So that was not part of our terms. So I think that when we are very clear with our terms with the other person, then that could be in a sense a way of setting a boundary, but it's in a different approach. So, I've been thinking a lot about this. I'm in an Airbnb I, here in Armenia. I might extend my stay. So I said to her, how much will it cost me to extend my stay? I think that maybe I'll just continue to pay her directly rather than through the platform since I've already been here for five weeks. And she said to me, well, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, that, of course, is not setting a term. And this could cause confusion and misunderstandings. I also don't know how long I'm going to be staying. So what my job is to decide when I'm going to be leaving and then go to her and find out the terms of staying so that I can decide if it's okay for me or if I want to look for something else. If you don't set the terms with people in advance, it can cause confusion and people will get upset. For example, you have a business and somebody's paying you some money and then you decide, oh, well, I'm going to charge more. But did you set a term? Did you have agreement for the amount of money that person was going to pay? Because if you did, then you must respect that. And then the new people who come in, well, then you can charge them more money. But you can't just change the terms of the agreement unless you renegotiate with them. So you have to be mindful when you meet new people. What are the terms of this relationship? You know, what's expected from me and what's expected from you? And if you can get more clarity on that, I feel that this might be a, a good way to set boundaries without setting boundaries. Because sometimes people like, uh, like me or people who have trouble setting boundaries end up having to set really harsh boundaries when things have gone too far. So setting the terms in the beginning of any relationship will help the relationship move forward smoothly. And that's for friendships, that's for romantic relationships, that's for business relationships. Think to yourself, what are the terms of, this, of our agreements? And are they clear? Maybe that'll help. And then once you've set those terms, you won't have to be making all sorts of boundaries and defending yourself and standing up for yourself because everybody knows what the terms are of the arrangement. I hope that helps.